Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about Bakery's algorithm. So what is a Bakery algorithm? Well, Lampert proposed this algorithm which is a software solution to solve the n process mutual exclusion problem. So in the previous video we discussed about there is a critical section problem that we need to solve and there are different ways of solving it. There are different algorithms to solve it, one of which is Bakery's algorithm. Okay. So Bakery's algorithm is a software solution to solve the n processes mutual exclusion problem. What is the mutual exclusion? Well, mutual exclusion means only one resource should be allotted to one process at a time. So no two processes can have the same resource. If the second process needs that particular resource, it needs to wait until the first process finishes the execution and then when it voluntarily releases that particular resource, then is going to give in to the sec second process. So one resource should be allotted to one process at a time. That's the mutual exclusion rule. Okay. Okay. So it solves the problem of the fairest, which is first in first out. Now, why is it called bakery's algorithm? Let me explain that to you. So when a customer goes to a bakery, the bakery manages them on a basis of tokens, right? So when you enter the bakery, you are given a token number and then the next person enters he gets a token number as well. There's a global counter on which the token number is flashed, which means it shows that which is the current customer who is being served. Once that particular customer is served, the next token number gets displayed and the next customer gets served. So that is how the customers are managed in a bakery, right? So similarly, in the bakery's algorithm by Lamport, processes are treated as these customers okay so each process gets a token number and the process with the lowest token number gets to enter the critical section first so let me show you the code snippet for how this works so you can see the, it says do while it's true and then you have choosing you have these so let me explain these two one by one so let's say there is a process pi that needs to enter the critical section here's your critical section right uh, what it's going to do is it's going to set the choosing i value equals to true. So by setting the choosing i equals true, it lets the other programs know or the other processes know that it's choosing a token number. That's why it sets it to true. Then it chooses the token number uh, larger than the token number assigned to other processes. So this max is going to give the token number that's been assigned to the previous one. So you add one to that. So even in bakeries, you know that uh, if the current token number is 10, then the next person or next customer gets the token number as 10 plus 1, which is 11. So that is why it chooses the token number, which is larger than the previous token number. Okay. So once it chooses that, then it sets the choosing I to false, which means it's letting the other processes know that it has finished choosing the token. Then it enters the loop to evaluate the status of other processes. And here it's going to wait until the process PJ finishes its token number, finishes choosing its token number. PJ then waits until all the processes with smaller token number have been served. And once that is done, it's going to enter the critical section. And after it has finished its execution, it's going to set the NI to zero and exit the critical section. Now the number scheme always generate the numbers in increasing order of enumeration, for example, one, two, uh, four times three, four and five. All right, so that basically is the bakery's algorithm. I hope it's clear to you. Thank you.